All right, before I go ahead and do the arcade and put that all together, I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna do the arcade one up at home arcade riser. Um, hopefully you can see that here. That way you can just stand up a place instead of just sitting down somewhere. All right, pretty much um, all you're gonna really need is a Phillips screwdriver. You're gonna have everything inside, all the hardware, the little pegs, um, screws. There's about 24 screws, two different kinds. Um, pretty much there's four types of boards apparently. Um, there's gonna be the one with the label on it and then something that only has four little screws on the ends. The other ones are called RN and RP. So pretty much you're just gonna go ahead and put all the pegs on the sides for RN and RP the little wooden pegs and then you'll just put them all together with the front and the back of so I'm just gonna go ahead and we'll put the wooden pegs in the sides of them real simple um, they're the only things that can fit on the side if you can see right there they're the only things that fit all the other small ones are gonna be for the screws later on You can tell on the undercarriage over here, or, or oh, I'm sorry, on the side over here, you're going to see the little pegs. Um, you know, that's going to be facing the ground. You want to make sure that they're inside there pretty good because I had one over here. It looks like it was sticking out a little bit. So then on the sides of those, again, you're going to put the pegs again. Okay, after this step, you're gonna have all pegs on there. So you should have about 16 pegs. Um, I got an extra peg in mine. So hopefully that's kind of standard. It's always nice to have these, these things off and break anyway. All right, in step two, you're pretty much gonna put the four boards all together. You're gonna use your B-screws, put it in to these holes over here. And you're gonna go ahead and do that for all four sides, you're pretty much going to make a square out of them. You're going to need your screwdriver for this step, so have it handy. For step two, all you have to do, make sure that you're going to have these on the outboard. Make sure they're going to be outside of your box. It's going to be the ones with the screw holes. You have six of them. And make sure that this is going to be facing down, so you're going to go ahead and put it over here. Make sure, again, your little feet are going to be on the bottom. And then you put them into your little guiding pegs. Do that for all four sides. Put this board over here on this side. And then again on this one too. Just make sure that all the feet are going to be on the same side. Like I said, um, I just tried doing it. Make sure that these are going to be on the outboard. And the feet part are down. If not, um, they're not going to fit. Okay, now that they are together here, you're going to need your screws your screwdriver. I'm just going to screw them in. In the beginning I just like to put them in just hand screw them as much as you can um, just so that they are going to be at least stabilized a little bit. Let's do it on all four sides just so they're not going to fall over on you when you're doing the other side. Just hand screw them in. Do a couple turns there, a couple turns on the other side, a turns over here. That one's already tightened up. A couple turns here. All right. In the end, you should pretty much have a box. You did it right if you look at the bottom and you see that you have the little pegs, the little white feet here on all sides. Um, next is step three. It's pretty easy. It's the same thing as step two practically. You're just going to get the front and the back baseboard for the arc right, the um, arcade riser. You're just going to put them on the front and the back just like you did the other sides. So 
Just like before, you're just going to go ahead, you're going to screw it in. Um, make sure you leave a couple of um, turns on there for the end, just so you can get it nice and flat and even. All right, last step, step four, super simple step. You just have these two left. These are pretty much where the actual arcade one-up, the one-up arcade is actually gonna stand on. So you're just gonna go ahead, you're gonna go and place it over here. Make sure that the screw sides up. The bigger, the bigger holes are out. Bigger holes are out. And then both sides, just go ahead, first thing, hand screw them in a little, a little bit. And this is it that's all you got um this is the arcade one up riser you don't have to worry about any brands or anything um they are all the same for all of them so don't worry about that you can get any one i would recommend getting it somewhere cheap locally like walmart if you go on amazon or any of those off those like websites they have free shipping but they will charge you like over a hundred dollars for it for some reason all right hope this helped go ahead um like subscribe comment down below put turn on notifications and we are out